everyone, this is Teacher Phoebe and welcome to my channel. In this video, you're going to learn how to divide fractions. Let us recall the meaning of fractions. Fractions represent a numerical value that expresses a part of a whole. For us to divide fractions, here are the steps to follow. First, get the reciprocal of the second fraction. Second, change the operation to multiplication. Third, multiply the numerators. Fourth, multiply the denominators. And lastly, simplify the fraction if possible. We have the example 3 fourths divided by 2 thirds is equal to n. Let us do the step 1, get the reciprocal of the second fraction. In this example, 2 thirds is the second fraction. To get its reciprocal, we are going to flip the position of these numbers. 2 will become denominator and 3 will become the numerator. Therefore, the reciprocal of our fraction 2 thirds is 3 halves. For step 2, we are going to change the operation division to multiplication. Step 3, we are going to multiply our numerators. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. For step 4, we are going to multiply our denominators. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. And for our last step, let us simplify the fraction if possible. Since 9 eighths is an example of an improper fraction, we are going to divide the numerator 9 by 8. 9 divided by 8 is equal to 1. Let us multiply our quotient 1 by 8. 1 times 8 is equal to 8. Let us subtract 9 minus 8 is equal to 1. To change our improper fraction 9 eighths to mixed numbers, we are going to copy the quotient as the whole number, we are going to copy the remainder as the numerator, and we are going to copy the divisor as the denominator. Therefore, the simplified fraction for 9 eighths is 1 and 1 eighth. Therefore, if we're going to divide 3 fourths by 2 thirds, the quotient is 9 eighths or 1 and 1 eighth. Let us have another example. 1 half divided by 1 fourth is equal to n. Let us do the step 1, get the reciprocal of the second fraction. The second fraction in our example is 1 fourth. We are going to change the position of our numerator and denominator. 1 will be the denominator and 4 will be the numerator. Therefore, the reciprocal of 1 fourth is 4 over 1. For step 2, we are going to change the operation division to multiplication. For step 3, we are going to multiply our numerators. 1 times 4 is equal to 4. Step 4, we are going to multiply the denominators. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. And for the last step, we are going to simplify the fraction if possible. Since 4 over 2 is an example of an improper fraction, we are going to divide 4 by 2 to get its quotient. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. Let us multiply our quotient to our divisor 2. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Let us subtract. 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. Since the quotient of 4 and 2 does not have any remainder, 
The simplified answer for the improper fraction 4 over 2 is 2. The simplified answer in our example, 1 half divided by 1 fourth is equal to 4 over 2 or 2. And for the last example, 1 fifth divided by 2 thirds is equal to n. Step 1, get the reciprocal of the second fraction. Since 2 thirds is our second fraction, we are going to switch the position of our numerator and denominator. 2 will be our denominator and 3 will be our numerator. Therefore, the reciprocal of our second fraction 2 thirds is 3 halves. Step 2. We are going to change the operation division to multiplication. For step 3, we are going to multiply our numerators. 1 times 3 is equal to 3. For step 4, we are going to multiply our denominators. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. And for the last step, let us simplify the fraction if possible. Since 3 and 10 does not have common factor, we can say that the quotient of 1 fifth and 2 thirds is 3 tenths. Remember, for us to divide fractions, here are the steps to follow. First, get the reciprocal of the second fraction. Second, Change the operation to multiplication. Third, multiply the numerators. Fourth, multiply the denominators. And lastly, simplify the fraction if possible. Let us have some practice on what you've learned in this video. 3 fifths divided by 2 thirds is equal to n. The correct answer is 9 tenths. 4 sevenths divided by 1 half is equal to n. The correct answer is 8 over 7 or 1 and 1 seventh. And for the last item, 1 third divided by 1 ninth is equal to n. The correct answer is 9 over 3 or 3. Remember, for us to divide fractions, here are the steps to follow. First, get the reciprocal of the second fraction. Second, change the operation to multiplication. Third, multiply the numerators. Fourth, Multiply the denominators and lastly, simplify the fraction if possible. Did you enjoy the lesson? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and click the notification bell on this channel for more updates. Thank you for watching. Bye!